if you're eating fish for your heart, your brain, or your joints, but still dealing with pain, stiffness, or brain fog, there's a very good chance you're unknowingly canceling out all the benefits of your omega-3 supplement. In fact, most people over 60 are doing this one combination mistake that literally turns their healthy fish meal into an inflammation bomb inside the body. Now, I'm not talking about fried foods or fast food. I'm talking about something far more common, something sitting right now in your kitchen. And if you're pairing it with salmon, tuna, or sardines, it's quietly blocking your body's ability to absorb omega-3 fats and instead fueling the very inflammation that fish is supposed to fight. So in this video, we're going to go through the five major mistakes people make when eating fish. Mistakes that completely block your omega-3 benefits, increase oxidative stress, and silently damage your arteries, joints, and brain cells. But make sure you stay with me till the end, because mistake number five is the one that's the most dangerous, and it's also the one you're probably making every week without realizing it. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which oil you should never combine with fish, what it does to your cell membranes, and how to fix it starting today, so that every bite of fish you eat actually works for your health, not against it. Hit that subscribe button if you're serious about protecting your heart, brain, and immune system after 60, because this channel is all about helping you live longer, stronger, and inflammation-free. You might be shocked to know that the way you cook your fish can completely destroy its health benefits before it even touches your plate. Think about that for a second. You could be spending money on wild salmon, tuna, or sardines, believing you're doing everything right for your heart and brain, but one small mistake in your kitchen could turn that beautiful omega-3 rich meal into a toxin that silently inflames your body from the inside out. And it all comes down to the oil you're using. Fish contains delicate omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, which are extremely sensitive to heat and oxygen. When you expose them to refined vegetable or seed oils like corn oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, or canola oil, something dangerous happens, oxidation. That's a fancy word for what happens when healthy fats are damaged by high heat, creating free radicals, unstable molecules that attack your cells, your arteries, even your brain tissue. Once these omega-3 supplements are oxidized, they no longer fight inflammation. They become the source of it. Imagine this, you're frying salmon in a pan, of heart-healthy vegetable oil, thinking you're doing something good. But inside that pan, your omega-3 supplement are being destroyed molecule by molecule, transforming from protective fats into reactive inflammatory compounds. So instead of supporting your joints and heart, you're silently fueling pain, stiffness, and arterial plaque buildup. The very problems fish was supposed to prevent, and it doesn't stop there. These refined oils are already damaged before you even cook them. They've gone through chemical extraction, bleaching, and deodorizing, industrial processes that strip away antioxidants and leave behind unstable polyunsaturated fats. By the time they reach your kitchen, they're already halfway rancid. The moment you add heat, they break down completely. That's why many seniors who eat fish regularly still suffer from high inflammation markers, sore joints, and brain fog. Not because fish stopped working, but because the oil killed its power. So what should you do instead? The key is to cook your fish gently and only in heat-stable natural fats, like extra virgin olive oil at low temperatures, avocado oil, or even grass-fed butter or ghee. These fats have a higher smoke point and are rich in antioxidants that protect omega-3 supplement during cooking. And if you're baking or grilling, keep the temperature moderate. Once that pan starts smoking, your healthy fats are already dying. Here's the part that surprises most people. Even if you drizzle that same seed oil after cooking, thinking it's just for flavor, it can still oxidize once it hits the warm fish. The damage doesn't wait for the frying pan. It happens instantly upon exposure to oxygen and heat. So next time you prepare fish, remember this simple rule. The oil you choose can either preserve omega-3 supplement or poison them. And once you understand this, you'll realize the next mistake people make one that doesn't happen in the kitchen, but inside your bloodstream, where the balance between two powerful fats decides whether your body heals or burns. Now, even if you're cooking your fish perfectly, there's another mistake that most people make at the dinner table, and it happens quietly every single day. You might be doing it right now without realizing it. It's the hidden imbalance between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, 
and this imbalance can completely block your body's ability to use the very nutrients you're trying to get from fish. It's like eating healthy food with the brakes on. Your body needs both omega-3 and omega-6 fats, but here's the catch. They compete for the same enzymes inside your cells. That means if omega-6 is flooding your system, omega-3 supplement can't even get through the door. And guess which one dominates in the modern American diet? Omega-6 by a landslide. We're talking ratios of 20 to 1, sometimes even 40 to 1, when your body was designed to stay around 2 to 1. When that balance breaks, inflammation takes over. Where is all that omega-6 coming from? It's hiding in places most people never suspect. The mayonnaise you spread on your tuna sandwich, the chips you eat alongside grilled salmon, the bottled dressings on your healthy salad, and even the sauces served in restaurants. Almost all of these are made with soybean, corn, safflower, or cottonseed oil, and those are pure omega-6 factories. So you're eating fish, hoping to lower inflammation, while everything else on your plate is doing the opposite. Think of omega-3 as the firefighter and omega-6 as the fuel. A little fuel is fine. It keeps the system running. But when the fireman shows up to put out the flames and there's gasoline everywhere, what do you think happens? The inflammation spreads faster. That's what's going on inside the arteries, the joints, and even the brain tissue of people who load up on processed oils. Over time, the result is chronic stiffness, foggy thinking, high blood pressure, and even insulin resistance, all conditions linked to excess omega-6 intake. Here's something fascinating. When scientists study populations that eat plenty of fish but very little processed oil, like the Japanese or Icelandic diets, their inflammation markers were dramatically lower, even among older adults. But when those same people started adopting Western diets rich in seed oils, their inflammation skyrocketed, even though their fish intake stayed the same. The fish didn't stop working. The balance did. So if you want your omega-3 supplement to do their job to calm inflammation, lubricate your joints, and protect your brain, you have to stop drowning them in omega-6. Start by cutting out bottled dressings, margarine, and deep-fried snacks. Make your own salad dressing with olive oil and lemon. Choose wild fish, not fried fish. It's those small daily swaps that restore the balance. Because once your body finds that balance again, something incredible happens. Your pain eases, your mind clears, your skin glows, but there's still another hidden mistake people make. One that feels healthy on the surface, but actually destroys omega-3 integrity even before it enters your bloodstream. And that's what we're going to uncover next. This next mistake is one of the most deceptive because it hides behind the word healthy. You see, most people who care about their heart and cholesterol, especially those over 60, have been told for decades to avoid butter and switch to heart-friendly oils. So they swap to olive oil blends, vegetable oil sprays, and those margarine tubs that promise zero cholesterol. But here's the shocking truth. Many of those healthy oils are fake. They're not what you think. They are. And when you mix them with fish, they quietly cancel out your omega-3 supplement, and even worse, turn them toxic. Let's start with olive oil. Real, cold-pressed, extra virgin olive oil is one of the best things you can put in your body. But most bottles on supermarket shelves, especially the cheaper ones, are cut with refined seed oils like soybean or canola to lower production costs. They might smell and taste like olive oil, but chemically they behave nothing like it. When you drizzle that over your salmon, thinking you're doing something great for your arteries, you are actually pouring in a blend that's high in unstable omega-6 cess. These oils oxidize instantly when they touch warm food, especially fatty fish, releasing compounds that trigger cellular inflammation and lipid peroxidation, the exact opposite of what omega-3 supplement are meant to do. Now, let's talk about the other so-called healthy oils, vegetable blends, safflower, sunflower, and grapeseed oil. These are advertised as light and cholesterol-free, but their polyunsaturated structure makes them extremely fragile. Once they hit the heat, even low heat, they start to break down and release aldehydes. Toxic compounds linked to DNA damage, liver stress, and arterial stiffness, and because omega-3 supplement are even more sensitive than these oils, combining the two is like pouring acid on your health investment. Even reheating real olive oil too many times changes its chemical structure. Every time it smokes, it loses its antioxidants, particularly polyphenols, which are what make olive oil so powerful against inflammation in the first place. 
So that pan you've used 10 times for sauteing fish, it might be filled with microscopic breakdown products that silently stress your liver and blood vessels. Here's the fix. Choose oils that protect omega-3 supplement, not destroy them. Look for single source extra virgin olive oil that's cold pressed, comes in a dark glass bottle, and mentions harvest date. That's a sign it's real. Better yet, cook your fish in avocado oil, ghee, or coconut oil at gentle heat. They're naturally stable, rich in antioxidants, and protect the fragile omega-3 molecules from oxidation. After cooking, if you want that olive flavor, drizzle your verified cold raw olive oil after the fish cools slightly, not while it's sizzling hot. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Even if you choose the perfect oil and balance your omega-6 intake, there's another silent killer that can undo all that work. It's not what you cook with. It's how you store your fish and oils because even the best fats, when exposed to the wrong environment, start decaying from within, long before they ever reach your plate. Even if you cook your fish in the right oil and balance your omega-3 supplement perfectly, you can still destroy all that effort before your meal ever begins, simply by how you store your fish and oils. Most people never think about this part. They buy fresh salmon, a bottle of premium oil, leave them in the fridge or on the counter, and assume they're safe. But here's the truth. Oxidation doesn't start in the pan, it starts in your kitchen cabinet. And by the time you cook that fish, you might already be eating rancid fats that silently inflame your cells. Let's start with fish. Omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA, are incredibly delicate. They react instantly to oxygen, light, and temperature changes. If your fish is sitting in a clear plastic wrap under bright supermarket lights for days, those omega-3 supplement are already breaking down. When that happens, the fish may still look fine, but the fats have turned rancid, creating compounds like lipid peroxides and aldehydes, which irritate the gut lining, weaken your liver, and trigger systemic inflammation. That's why some people feel bloated or sluggish after eating fresh fish. It's not the fish itself. It's the oxidized fat inside it. Here's a simple rule. The more light, air, and heat your fish or oils are exposed to, the faster they die. Always store fish in airtight glass containers, never in thin plastic. Keep it in the coldest part of your fridge, not the door, where temperature fluctuates every time you open it. And if you buy in bulk, freeze portions immediately and thaw them slowly in the fridge, not at room temperature. Rapid thawing exposes the fragile fats to oxygen and heat simultaneously, the perfect recipe for oxidation. Now let's talk about oils. Most people leave their cooking oils right next to the stove where it's warm, bright, and convenient, but that's the worst possible place for them. The constant heat and light exposure slowly turn even the best olive or avocado oil rancid. You might not smell it because deodorization masks the odor, but chemically it's already compromised. Rancid oil doesn't just taste bad, it produces reactive aldehydes that attack your cell membranes and speed up aging. Always keep your oils in dark glass bottles tightly sealed and stored in a cool cabinet away from heat and sunlight. Never buy large bottles unless you'll use them quickly. Once opened, the clock starts ticking. Most oils last only about three months before oxidation sets in. And if you ever notice a bitter aftertaste or a sharp smell, it's time to throw it out. No supplement or antioxidant can undo the cellular damage caused by rancid fats. Here's the part that most people miss. Even omega-3 supplements can go bad. Capsules sitting for months in a warm bathroom cabinet can become just as toxic as bad cooking oil. Always refrigerate them and check for freshness dates. Because when these fragile fats oxidize, they no longer protect your heart. They attack it. But the most dangerous part isn't how you store them. It's what you combine them with. And that's what we'll uncover next. The one combination that doesn't just block omega-3 supplement, but actually turns them into poison inside your bloodstream. Now, this last mistake is the most dangerous of them all. It's the one that silently reverses everything good you've ever done for your heart, brain, and immune system. And it happens when you combine your fish with trans fats or hydrogenated oils. These are the industrial fats that hide inside processed foods. And when they meet your omega-3 supplement, they create one of the most destructive chemical reactions in your body. You can think of it as mixing clean water with poison. Only one drop can change everything. Let's break it down simply. Omega-3 supplement from fish, especially EPA and DHA, are flexible, fluid molecules. 
That's what makes your cell membrane soft, elastic, and able to absorb oxygen and nutrients. But trans fats, they're the exact opposite. They're stiff, artificial, and chemically distorted. They sneak into your cells pretending to be healthy fats, but once inside, they lock the doors. Suddenly your cells can't breathe properly, your arteries lose flexibility, and inflammation skyrockets. Now imagine what happens when those rigid fats combine with the delicate omega-3 supplement from your fish. They twist their structure, mutate their shape, and render them completely useless. Instead of calming inflammation, they start fueling it. Where do these fats come from? They hide in foods we all grew up eating. Margarine, shortening, pie crusts, pastries, fried chicken, crackers, microwave popcorn, and fast food fries. Even restaurant grilled fish is often cooked on surfaces coated with these same oils. So while you think you're eating a clean, omega-3 rich meal, you're actually consuming a chemical cocktail that attacks your arteries, slows your metabolism, and blocks insulin receptors. It's one of the main reasons people over 60, despite eating fish regularly, still struggle with high cholesterol, brain fog, and painful joints. Trans fats also have another dark secret. They trigger your liver to produce C-reactive protein CRP, a key marker of inflammation linked directly to heart attacks and strokes. And when omega-3 supplement get caught in this crossfire, they can set lower CRP anymore. They become part of the inflammation instead. This is why studies show that people who consume both omega-3 supplements and hydrogenated foods see no improvement in heart health because one cancels out the other. So how do you fix this? It starts with awareness. Stop trusting food labels that say zero trans fats. By law, anything under 0.5 grams per serving can still claim zero. That means if you eat multiple servings, those hidden grams add up fast. Instead, look for the real danger words partially hydrogenated or vegetable shortening. Those are the red flags. And whenever possible, cook your fish yourself with clean, stable oils like avocado, ghee, or unrefined coconut oil. Avoid anything fried in restaurants unless you know the oil source. Here's the truth most people never hear. Inflammation isn't caused by one big mistake. It's caused by small daily ones that build up over time. One spoon of margarine, one fried meal, one drizzle of cheap oil. Day after day, those decisions add up. But the good news is, so do the right choices. The moment you stop feeding your body fake fats, your cells start healing. Your arteries regain flexibility, your brain clears, and your energy rises. And when you pair that with clean fish and protective oils, your omega-3 supplement finally do what they were designed to do. Reverse inflammation, repair your body, and restore vitality at any age. So now you know, the secret to unlocking the true power of omega-3 supplement has nothing to do with how much fish you eat and everything to do with how you treat it. The oils you cook with, the foods you pair it with, the way you store it, and even the hidden fats that sneak into your diet. Each of these choices